everyone, my name's Caitlin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about hobbies and the benefits they can have on our mental health. So as we all know the 12th of April meant that pubs and bars started to open outdoor seating and the students union have put more benches outside the engine shed and the towel bar and a lot of people could be feeling quite anxious about the idea of things opening up and life going back to normal which is completely fine seeming we've literally just spent a full year in lockdown but I just want to talk about a few hobbies that could possibly take that anxious feeling away and benefit our mental health when it comes to things going back to normal. Now, what's good about a hobby is it actually gives you a break from your daily life, your daily routine, um, them everyday stresses that you're probably feeling with things going back to normal. A hobby can just give you a break from that. It gives you time to just sit down, take your mind off things and hopefully put your focus on something that you start to enjoy. One hobby which I know a lot of people found helps their mental state and this was during lockdown and even now whilst things are opening back up is exercising and working out. Now a lot of people might find exercising and working out to be the furthest thing away from an enjoyable hobby but honestly it does help with that extra serotonin boost throughout the day. Not only are you benefiting your body physically but also mentally by having your own time. When I put my earphones in to work out I know that that's my time to work on myself instead of worrying about uni work and all the other stresses that might be happening in the day. One hobby which I know is proven to help with mental health is just taking time to read, whether that's at night or early in the mornings, um, to stop you scrolling on your phone, looking at social media and what everyone else is up to. Um, I know this has helped me and I do have a few book recommendations. Um, one of my favourite books is actually Good Vibes, Good Life by Vex King. I know he's just brought another one out. It's all about positive mindset and how to have a more positive outlook on the world and not being stressed with your everyday stresses. And I Another one that I am currently desperate to read is Working Hard, Hardly Working by Grace Beverly. I know she was a University of Oxford student, I think. And on the front of the book, it actually does say how to achieve more, stress less and feel fulfilled. And I know there can be a lot of pressure put on university students at the end of a semester. So I just feel these books will just give you a break from all them stresses. Now another hobby which I know helps a lot of people is just listening to calming music whether that's in the shower, going on a daily walk with your earphones in, obviously being safe and everything. Music is supposed to be a great mind healer. One hobby that's helped me over lockdown and something that I'm going to carry on whilst everything is opening back up is using my journal and journaling every day. Just getting my thoughts down on paper, putting what I'm grateful for, putting my to-do list on there. It just makes everything a little less overwhelming because it's all wrote down on paper and it's just a gentle reminder that you do have things to be grateful for in your life even though you may be feeling really anxious at this moment in time. And lastly, this is a hobby that I don't do as much as I want to do. It's actually being creative, whether that's painting, colouring, creating videos, because I find it hard at night to switch off away from uni work. So just having something to keep my mind busy really does just help relax and enjoy my night. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you a few hobbies that could possibly just take your mind off things and to reduce the anxiety that everyone might be feeling at this moment in time with everything opening back up and life going back to normal. Normal. I know it can be a highly stressful time for a lot of people who do struggle with mental health so I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a few useful hobbies and tips from it so bye for now and I'll see you in my next video